here we are with Sarah Pope's lips, titled for obvious reasons. The thing about this print, it is beautifully created. They could have so easily produced this as a digital print and it would have lacked all the personality that you get in the silkscreen version. Beautiful glaze over this print, it's really nice paper, signed of course by the artist, edition of 95. We framed it just in a white box, but we've added this sort of red slip, so it's a proper custom job. Sarah, as an artist, used to work in the fashion industry, and I think that comes through. And these are allegedly the Marilyn's lips. But yeah, take her from a painting, and that's generally how she produces it. This is from a whole series that she's done of celebrities' lips. Here we are with Monkey Queen by the world famous elusive artist Banksy. Don't really need to introduce too much about Banksy because he's just huge in the world of street art. Really early print this, released 2003, it wasn't his first print but definitely one of his like sort of early three or four. 2003 was really Banksy's breakthrough year when he first started selling editions. Edition of 750, this one's not signed but then that's very common for early works. Silk screen print, obviously of the Queen as a monkey, great little mod image behind, this is in absolutely immaculate condition. Quite difficult to get them actually in good condition due to the age and the price they were bought early on. Most of them were just stuck up with blue tack and destroyed. Anything like this, we've just got the one copy, like I say very rare, comes with authenticity as well, like all the banks they should. This really is like a, a pure pop art piece. He, his work, which is taken from very large paintings, really beautifully produced, lovely silk screen, and even the detail of the text and, and all this over the top is, is silk screen as well. Which don't, you don't have to go to that effort, but it has and it works and it makes it look so much better. He's a famous artist, really, David Spiller. I mean, it's only recently that he started to move into editions. But he studied under a very famous artist, Frank Auerbach. He's a London British artist. Just really getting the credibility that he deserves, to be honest. Always signed, lovely in pencil, and edition of 75 on this one. He always tries to keep it quite low. Um, very popular, very hangable piece.